This is Dr. Ross Perry and I'm just doing a gross necropsy on a rainbow lorikeet, a wild rainbow lorikeet that died in very good body condition um, about two or three hours ago. Um, just in the local suburb here at Cromer. There's been a number of deaths lately and uh, this bird came in with um, food, fresh food coming out of its throat, out of its mouth. It's a mature bird, got a dark beak and was in very good body condition. It's died quite suddenly and I've opened up the abdomen and uh, the chest cavity. We can see the heart here and there was a bit of fluid around the heart but not very much. We can see the liver here which is about normal colour. Um, we can see a blood, very bloody area here which is totally abnormal. Uh, that there. That's uh, a totally uh, necrotic loop of intestine. Um, just like acute gangrene of the intestine here. So this this loop here is grossly, grossly abnormal. This is a bird's gizzard, uh, this organ here. We've got the duodenal loop, which is this loop of here, the pancreas in the middle, the pancreas looks normal. The duodenal loop of the intestine is hemorrhagic, um, very bloody and inflamed here, but not nearly as bad as the next loop of intestine, this one over here which is virtually gone acute gangrene uh, of the intestine and we'll pull out a few more loops of intestine here and see what they show. Um, just a bloody awful mess. Um, free blood, hemorrhage and uh, we're likely to be dealing here with a bacterial infection um, and the disease is likely to be what we call necrotic enteritis. Um, this is sometimes associated with a, col of, um, a clostridial infection. Other times it's associated with um, a very acute, severe uh, bacterial infection with coliform bacteria that stain red. You may be able to see little pale patches in the intestine near where the forceps is holding it. Um, that's again where the, the lining of the intestine is just dying and, and sloughing off. So my next step will be to make some microscopic smears um, or some smears of the contents of um, a couple of these loops of intestine. Have a look at them as wet smears under the microscope for any motile organisms, be they bacteria or protozoa. Do a stain smear and see whether we've got uh, lots and lots of red staining rod shaped bacteria which are coliforms or lots and lots of uh, large um, blue staining bluey black staining rods uh, that might or might not have spores in them which would be clostridia. So that's the story but anyway this bird has died from an acute hemorrhagic enteritis and um, at least we've got some clues as to what's killing some of the birdies. This is likely to be a uh, bacterial infection and it's likely to be spread at contaminated feeding stations where the birds poop into their food containers um, this doesn't happen in nature but it does happen or doesn't happen often in nature but it certainly happens if people are feeding um, lorikeets in, uh, in, in large dishes, putting the food out in large dishes in which the birds walk and poop at the same time. If you are going to be feeding wild lorikeets I suggest that you use um, longitudinally split downpipe, plastic downpipe, uh, maybe two or three inch diameter get it sawn in half into troughs and feed them in troughs that can be then washed and disinfected between between meals and use the same sorts of principles of hygiene as you would with your own food dishes. With those troughs, those narrow troughs, the birds hang on to the side of the trough. The back side is aiming away from the food and uh, the foods, the, a number of lorikeets can all feed at the same time uh, without one or two dominating the bunch. If you have a long piece of pipe that is uh, plastic pipe that is uh, split longitudinally in half as a feeding trough. There you are. Right, this is Dr. Ross Perry at lorikeethealth.com. I hope you're learning something. Keep coming back. And we may be able to see major, major areas of hemorrhage. I'm trying to film as I um, 
There you are, you can see massive bleeding of the outside lining of the stomach. That's the proventriculus. The stomach, sorry, the stomach of this lorikeet is full of faecal matter, um, totally abnormal uh, like that, and I'll put some of that under the microscope and let you see that later on perhaps.